Howdy folks, it's Atal Turley here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is part three, I believe, of our Transcontinental series. And if you're St. Louis, Charles Lundberg, Recreation Flight. So I assume you watched parts one and two. If not, well, watch at least the beginning of part one and part two, and the end of part two, so you know what's going on. We are entering, or just north of Phoenix area. Let me come outside. So we took off San Diego part one, flew to the desert, flew just to here in part two so this is part three phoenix is over here as mentioned in the previous video i wanted to stay south of phoenix to avoid the mountains coming up however the clouds down here forced me much closer to the path that they want us to take so that's where we're at we're going to keep our altitude 10,300 feet best as i can we're going to try to go between these clouds, these storms, stay above the clouds, because I was through clouds earlier in part two and got a bunch of icing. I thought my icing thing was on. It's pushed forward. Um, maybe back is on. But anyway, I had to push forward. Still got icing. It made us lose like 2,000 feet before we got out of the clouds and started to thaw. I don't want to test that again, because I don't know if icing on or de-ice machine. It's called the de-ice anti-ice engine or something. I would assume forward is on, but maybe back is on. I don't know. I'm keeping it forward. Hopefully nothing happens. It's going to be dark soon. When I do need to stop the sim to come back at this another day, I'll save it, and it'll restart us somewhere in this area, but it'll be daytime. So I want to do some nighttime flights. I don't want to quit the sim until I really have to, because um, we didn't do any nighttime flying in the transatlantic flight. So anyway, that's your introduction for part three. If it doesn't make sense, it's because you didn't watch part one and two. If it makes sense, because you watched part one and two, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if fuel is still good, we're not going to repair any fuel if we can help it, because we'll be too heavy and I won't keep this altitude because these mountains up here. So what I'm going to do is get you right to sightseeing right away, I think. And um, I'm just going to manage this airplane, try to keep my altitude and not run into clouds and um, enjoy the sightseeing and... When I get my thoughts together, I'll come back and do some narration of whatever's going on in that moment. See you then. Well, I'm back already because I found a bug. Let me just my microphone to talk here. If you look at the back of the airplane, the fuselage, it doesn't get textured when it's nighttime. <laughs> oh, now it's textured. I wonder if that is a known bug or what's going on, but there was a couple sections of dust where it wasn't textured and now it's back again. Anyway, Phoenix, under the clouds, won't be able to see it, but that's okay. You can see the highways outlined. Anyway, Resume sightseeing, I'll see you in a little bit.
right? So here we sit. <laughs> it's so dark. Not because it's dark outside, which it is, but because of clouds. We're in a big cloud. So um, we drifted south, and we are literally over Phoenix right now. But because there's so many clouds, we can't see Phoenix. But we're right over Phoenix, like right over it. Um, so I looked up some peaks of the areas coming up on Google. So let me show you here. Um, see right over Phoenix. So this area here, if we head this way by mistake, instead of this way or this way, let's say we head here, the highest peak here is 7,596 feet or something like that. And we're at 10,300, 10,100. So we're 3,000 feet above train, so we'll be good. It's just a matter of um, hopefully not getting icing. I did see this thing that says heat on off. So I'm assuming this means the icing heat. See, that's on. That's your throttle, but that's heat. Because throttle went forward, I assume that this went forward and looks like I'm right. This is heat on. Don't know what else that would mean. Or oh, sandwich is gone. We should have a sandwich here. There we go. Um, so otherwise, there's that. Whoops, we're turning. And whiskey compass says we're almost 90 degrees. So I figure if we stay between 70 and 80 or so, then we'll end up going south of that peak right here. We'll end up doing my original plan once they come through here. So despite all the yapping I'm doing, we're back to my original plan, which is not their plan. Um, we were pushed north because of the clouds, but then once we're in the clouds, we drifted back south again. So we're back to where I want it to be. So yep there we go that's what we're doing not much to see not much to say i gave you some sights you only can see phoenix below us parts of it anyway as the clouds break up there we go you can see some of it don't know what kind of device you're watching this on it might be too bright in your environment to see but there we go phoenix will return in quite a bit have to come in here to get our attitude so anyway over phoenix middle of the night when it's cloudy not much to see i gave you some sightseeing i'm not going to really give you any sightseeing of this <laughs> maybe if something comes through the clouds but otherwise um i'm just going to fly this for a while and if you see the sun suddenly come up then that means i restarted the i saved and restarted the sim for another day if it's still dark i don't know i mean it's just to find out what comes next so stay tuned for an edit and we'll see what comes next together here So zooming in, we do have some icing on our plane. I do have the icing thing on, as far as I know. It's not causing us to crash or anything. We did lose a thousand feet though. Um, so that tells me that the icing is actually icing. <laughs> um, so if I come down here and move this back, I assume it's gonna get worse and we'll probably crash. So we don't want that to happen. Um, makes me really nervous. So let's keep that forward just because that's all I know. Um, yeah, hopefully we don't crash. So I don't know if I should come down and get out of these clouds so we don't crash. But the problem with that um, is the mountain's coming up, you know, 7,500 feet or something. So we're only 1,500 feet above that. Um, this could get pretty hairy here. Because it's nighttime. I could save it, restart it. It'll be daytime again, but I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, we're at 15 degrees. I better pay attention to what I'm doing. What's that down there, though? That's not sure interesting. But obviously, we're over the greater Phoenix area. Um, I just wish there weren't any clouds. So, I don't know. You can be nervous. Looks like they're probably getting thinner. There's some airports there to focus on, but... Um, okay, we're out of the clouds now, so the icing won't get worse. Okay, letting us come down, we're at 8,800 feet. 
Um, if icing gets too much, though, we won't be able to climb back over these hills, or mountains, I guess, they're whatever. Um, don't know what to say. But there's your update. <laughs> and there's Phoenix. Probably recognize the areas. Let me use the other camera here. If I can, super fast. There we go. You probably recognize these areas. Whoops, wrong button. Looks really freaking cool, doesn't it? That's awesome. If you know the area, hopefully this means something to you. I don't know the area. Um, but let's regain. Ooh, see, look at that icing, see? Look at it. Oh, man. Oh, too many buttons. Here we go. I don't know. At least we're out of the clouds. So let's just stay down a little bit so that we can get rid of this icing. Even though, like you saw, I think I have the icing thing on, right? Right? I don't want to pull it back because if it is on and it's back and it gets worse, then we're in worse trouble. But we have lots out to do because of it. Anyway, there's your long-winded update. I'm going to try to stay below these clouds so you can see the hills coming up over here. See? I can't guarantee that those clouds are higher than the hills, the mountains. We'll figure it out. This is a very challenging flight. This is probably the most challenging flight I've ever done, even though there's not, like, mountain valleys to crash into. It's still very challenging. Anyway, I want to figure this out. I'll try to sneak in some sightseeing of Phoenix if I can, but otherwise I'll see you in a little bit. We're still icing a lot, and we're not even cloud right now. So I really don't understand how we're supposed to do this. I mean, I can stay below the clouds, but we're at the elevation of the mountains coming up. Um, and it has nothing to do with me being on a different path, because even if I went this way, you know, these are still at like 7,000. So, um... I really don't know what to say. Um, I guess I can just stay below the clouds and ride through valleys if I have to. But it's going to get pretty dark pretty quickly once we get away from the city. So I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I really don't know. Because we're down here, we're just from over this airport. We can go through this valley here. This thing right here is a 7,500 thing right there. I looked it up. So I guess we can try to get through here. Use this airport as a guide. Right? Because um, this airport, there's another airport over here that's flashing. This one right here should be this one. So we don't want to do that. That's behind some mountains. But if you look for another one out here... Perhaps we can use that as a guide, depending if we can see it flashing. Looks like there's going to be some mountain stuff in front of it, though. Um, I'm just going to keep doing the best I can. And bring you with me. Um, if I do end up crashing, I would want to resume and try to finish this. I want to do all the missions. There's no reason why I can't. We only have two left. This one and the airmail one, but... I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. Um, that being said, I will have to be done soon for my real life day, which means I'll be saving and restarting, which means it'll be daytime again, which I guess I can use to my advantage. Um, I was really hoping to do some night flying more than just this, but... I don't know. I'm going to keep chugging away here and um, hopefully enjoying seeing Phoenix. And that icing is freaking me out. This is not getting worse, but that's because I'm below the clouds.
I don't know. Stay tuned. Well, Houston, we have a problem. We're back at the beginning, and I'll tell you what happened. So after that last segment, I went upstairs to get something to eat, and my kids needed me. And um, I ended up doing family stuff the rest of the day, and that was about a week ago. But that's okay, because family comes first. So I saved it, saved the flight, quit, came back, and now... Um, we're back at the beginning, and I realized why. Let me show you what happened. So let's go to the nav log. Remember the transatlantic flight? There were like 31 waypoints or something. So whenever I would quit the sim, I would save and quit and come back. It would bring me back to the nearest waypoint, right? Well, look at this. There's only two waypoints. Well, three if you count the airport. So in order for the save to work... I'll at least have to fly to this area, which is 70 miles northwest of Albuquerque, and then I'll be able to save, quit, and come back, and it'll put me here. And then I'll have to fly to here, save, come back, and it'll put me there, and then I'll have to finish the leg. Makes sense? Um, so if I get to here, and almost to here, and save and come back, it'll kick me to here. So... I wasn't this far. I was I was only halfway here. So somehow in order to do this, I'm going to have to find a lot of time because what's 315 minutes? That's five and a half hours. I'm going to have to find time to fly five and a half hours before I can save and come back. And then I'll have to find time to do another five and a half hours and then another four hours. So I can do it in three sittings, saving each time, but I at least have to get to here. So... That's a huge bummer. Um, at least with the transatlantic one, there's every hour there's a waypoint, right? So it would just bring you bump you back to whatever waypoint you passed if you left. This one not so much. So that's gonna change things. So what is this? Ending video three. We're gonna end video three right here. And if I have time, or when, not if, when I get time to fly five and a half hours, it'll probably be off to leave the sim running overnight, whatever, no big deal. I will fly to Phoenix because that's how far we got in this video and then I'll start recording from there because I don't want to get rid of the content of the first three videos there's some cool content in there so next time I fly this I'll fly to Phoenix without recording and you've already seen it and then I'll resume recording in Phoenix and then we'll have to at least get to here so that will be the plan for this mission um so hopefully you enjoyed this so far. It's kind of like a three-video introduction in a way. And we'll resume sometime in the near future, hopefully sooner rather than later. I am, as long as I leave the sim running, I don't see how I can't find time to do this. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, so you know when part four comes out, resuming in Phoenix in the near future. I'll see you then.